Good morning, good morning, Epic Peeps. How are you on this beautiful Thursday? Even though it's a little gray outside here in Connecticut, it's still a beautiful day, and I'm glad to be here on behalf of Epic. Epic stands for Empowering People and Inspiring Community. And Epic Tri County CT is a multifaceted positive media um, campaign platform that brings to you through print publication, online digital publications, and these beautiful epic interviews, positive, encouraging, uplifting information, articles, also that we can walk together towards our highest and best good, the highest vibration. So that's what epic is. My name is Samantha and none of this would be possible without Lisa. Lisa is the co-creator and co-publisher of Epic Tri-County CT. So please, she's always working the comments in the background. Let her know that you're here. Just, just leave a comment. Tell her hello. Tell her thank you for doing everything that she does, even though it's always me you see here and here. Blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I want to just go back, revert one minute to yesterday with the um, interview with Bradford Tilden. As I said during the interview, Bradford is a staple. He's a foundational energy of Epic Tri-County CT. And I want to mention that within the publication, whether it be digital or print, Bradford is offering a free 30-minute consultation for his services. So please check Bradford out. Um, let's say real quick, I probably should have had it, but I can give you his website, which is www dot crystal music healing dot com so reach out to bradford he's awesome 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 also you're gonna see me this saturday up on uh route 202 with george's new place um litchfield county cbd company along with live boho style with jackie and a whole bunch of other people so please check us out there between 10 and 2 on saturday Route 202 in Litchfield, Litchfield County CBD Company. We're going to have a good time. I may even have some angel cards to read for you. But enough of all that. We have a beautiful guest coming forward again today. Mallory has been a guest on Epic Interviews previously, and she is also the brilliant author of an article featured in our September-October issue of Epic. The name of the article is Real Life Wellness, and Mallory Simone brings just that, her real self, her whole self, to everything that she does. She is um, a wellness uh, coach, uh, beautiful light, great author. You got to check it out on page two and three of this issue. Um, and one thing I just stuck out to me that Mallory wrote is that... Let's see. Here we go. Samantha, you should really highlight. If you, okay, Mallory says, and I quote, if you focus on perfection versus what actually feels good, you begin to lose sight of the purpose. That is to live joyfully fulfilled and a balanced life. So the author of that statement, Mallory, is going to come forward now. We're going to welcome her with love and light and empowerment and a whole lot of joy. Good morning. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Thank you again for oh. stepping up. Yeah, you're, you're a foundational part of Epic Tri-County, too, with your articles and um, sharing your energy and your joy here on Epic Interviews. We really do appreciate it. So thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I know a little bit about you, but can you just tell our viewers and those that are watching later who you are and what you do? Yeah, that's a loaded question. Let's see. I <laughs> know. This life uh, is I'm a massage therapist. Mm -hmm. I am an energy and intuitive healer. Um, now author. We can add that to the resume as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm just here to assist the collective the best I can. Love it. Love it. Love it. I'm so glad that you're here with us. Um, we were talking earlier a little bit about uh, our journeys and how um, being focused on why we do what we do um, and remembering that why. Do you wanna speak a little bit on that and your take on the importance of knowing our why and embodying our why? Absolutely. Mm. 
So, you know, as we move through our lives, one would hope that uh, throughout our journey, we would sit back and, and think about where we've been, where we plan on going, and, you know, what our purpose is potentially. And I think that it's so important to just have that time where we're working within ourselves, you know, self-discovery, self-realization, it just gives us the feeling of, you know, I may not be exactly where I want to be, or I, I actually may be where I want to be, but regardless, I'm doing what feels right for me. And knowing your purpose or having a place or at least working towards something is just so fulfilling and so necessary, yeah. especially in a time like right now, yeah. where and we're kind of right. collective, we're all just really you know, forced to sit within ourselves and, and reflect, right? Yep. So yep. I, I think reflection is just so, it's imperative, I believe. Yeah. I see, I feel um, my why um, and the why of Epic as being defined at one time, but continually refining it. Yes. Um, always having that core why the core you know why we do what we do when we do it and how we do it but the energies surrounding it are continually changing and very fluent um and when i first started when we first started putting together epic i can remember lisa and i sitting down many nights actually <laughs> and putting together that why and um it's still the staple that holds that holds this together and that's no pun intended you know um so you're i don't do we want to go like your why and and um talk about how that kind of has unfolded to bring you to wellness with mallory and what you bring to our world besides your beautiful love and light because you're glowing right now <laughs> i swear uh, so it's funny because you know as a kid, a lot of empaths and highly sensitive people and those of us who are spiritual um, were surrounded still by, as we were talking about earlier, that, that box that we feel as though we need to fit into. And when we're not meant to fit into that box, a lot of times we begin to question our authenticity and our, our higher selves and our, our soul purpose. So for me, it was always that I felt as though I'm a healer, I'm a helper, I have some sort of plan that I need to fulfill, I just don't know what it is yet. And as I've gone through my life journey, I've started to realize that, hey, these things are coming up fairly often. You know, something is trying to push me in a direction that I need to actually follow. And so being that I'm you know, an empath and all that, there are certain things that I can't do, right? So I can't be a nurse, I can't be a doctor, it's just too, I'm too sensitive. Mm -hmm. um, I wanna help people, but how do I do that, you know? So, you know, working on myself, I began to understand that I need to find what works best for me. So in doing that, I discovered that I can be a healer, I can help people, but in a way where everyone leaves with a smile, you know, and it doesn't drain me of my energy as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's just about finding, you know, your, your best route based on what works best for you. Right. And so I found my why just by following my bliss, you know, following what yeah. made me happy. Yeah. So it can and, be that. Yeah. You mentioned, <clears throat> you mentioned that um, as a child, you kind of felt that you were a healer and that there were some special uh, spiritual gifts that you wanted to bring forward through yourself, um, which I, I think is beautiful. I know that my grandchildren were, were raising them with that um, permission, yeah. you know, to follow their bliss and to follow their passion. But for myself, it was, I negated it. I negated it through, um, you know, the addictions, through a lot of different, you know, just, I just kept it all down, kept it all down. The reason I'm saying this is that you're never too old. <laughs> you're never too old to find that why 
and to live that way and, and to turn that, um, that negativity and, and that box, right? Never too old to break the box down. Mm -hmm. Never too old. Um, and I know it was scary for me. It was, it was scary. And I'm sure that you've been through some scary times too, where you take that leap. I was in corporate, my gosh, until I don't know what, seven years ago now, I lost track of time. And just one day <clears throat> I went in and I said, this isn't for me anymore. I'm Absolutely. done. Yeah. I'm done. Um, I couldn't handle the energies being an empath. I was picking up all the um, aches and the pains physically, emotionally, everything was just really spiraling. And um, that was the day really that I, I, I took my why, my personal why and walked forward with it, took that leap. Mm -hmm. um, and best thing I ever did. Is it always um, easy? Absolutely not. Can you share? Um, we had talked about a quote. Can you uh, share that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I've been saying this a lot lately. Um, my husband and I watched Mulan the other night and the, you know, all of the hype around it. I wanted to see what it was about. And uh, the only thing I took from that movie, believe it or not, was the quote uh that says there is no courage without fear right so it's very true i mean there is no courage without fear so it's like how do i use this fear to to move me forward you know we can either sit in the fear and allow it to get in the way and to stop us from fulfilling ourselves or we can just use that to project like you were saying before mm -hmm. so i think that is just it's such a mantra. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's one of those things that you really feel it because everyone has felt scared. Everyone has needed courage at some point to do something. And so allowing yourself to just take that next step. And sometimes it's just one step. And that one step is all you need to, to use as a jumping point. Right. I mean, it, you're planting the seed and then all of a sudden you look back however many years later and you're like, wow, if I didn't have that thought, I wouldn't be where I am today. Or if that negative experience had never taken place, I wouldn't have said, okay, enough, I'm done here. Yeah. And I would be potentially where I was. Yeah. So it's just an interesting thing to uh, perceive, right. I think. Right. And what I just, I'm very visual. What I just saw is the, um, <laughs> I want to say it's the two of wands or the two of swords in the tarot deck where the person is standing and there's two paths ahead of them and it literally like split like a wishbone right and you're at that point in your life and you're like you don't know which way to go you don't and just that takes courage to take that one step mm -hmm. and it doesn't mean that those paths aren't going to come together in the future we don't know but we have to take that one step like that fool on a journey, just putting that one foot in front of another and saying, okay, we're going to turn our fear into fuel that's going to propel us forward and give us the courage, help us to, to make us courageous and and um, keep moving forward towards the mission. I, I believe that um, we all, as we begin to uncover our why, it is something that lives and grows uh, like almost like a flower, right? You got to fertilize it. You got to weed it sometimes, you know, you got to cut it back before it grows a little bit. So whatever we can do to uncover that why, whether it be journaling, brainstorming, mm -hmm. collaborating, or simply going into the silence um, is so, so important. And it's the, really the foundation of who and what we are. Absolutely. You know? And sometimes you're talking about tarot we have the tower right yeah yep. sometimes we're on this journey and we think that we have everything that we need yeah. and then all of a sudden life becomes chaos our tower falls okay yeah. and then we realize at that point that our tower was built on a bad foundation mm -hmm. it wasn't the correct foundation so you mm -hmm. have to start from scratch mm -hmm. and then begin to build brick by brick Mm -hmm. on a solid foundation so that your tower is strong enough to withstand the storm. Mm -hmm. And I, I love and hate that card. <laughs> <laughs> Ditto. 
Mixed yeah. feelings about that card. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But again, it just took me to just the recent, um, you know, nine months of 2020. We've all, we've all been taken power. back. Yeah, we've all been taken back to our foundation. And now is the time to really begin to rebuild uh, brick by brick, whether it be um, your career, relationships, whatever that's going to look like for each individual. And then the why is what is going to be that. Yes. You know, the, the why the is the cement, right? Yeah. yeah. The yeah. why is what we build upon. Right. And so, I mean, it's, I can talk about this forever. I mean, I it's, so, it's so instrumental. I know. I know. So how can, um, how can people find you, Mallory, if they need some help with their why or the other services that you provide? A few ways. I have a website. Mm -hmm. It's uh, wellnesswithmallory.com. Mm -hmm. I also have Instagram at wellnesswithmallory. I like to keep the same name going. <laughs> and then on Facebook, yep, on Facebook, it's Wellness with Mallory. Or my personal Facebook page is Mallory LMT. Okay. Which stands for licensed massage therapist. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And you have um, a set uh, an office that um, for the massage therapy that people can go to. And where is that located? I practice in Wallingford. Nice, nice. Not that far away. No. And nothing is really far away in Connecticut. I'm finding. You no, know, it's yeah. so funny because living in California. Everyone will say something like, oh, you know, it's only 45 minutes. And then, you know, because everything takes two hours to get to with traffic. So when you're in Connecticut, people will talk about 20 minute drives like it's like across the state. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all relative, I guess. I love Cali. What, where were you in Cali? Northern California. Oh, really? Yeah. I was in Marin County. I loved it. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Yeah. I was in San Jose for okay. a couple years. Um, and that's actually where I worked in uh, spa management, luxury spa management, decided I didn't want to do that because you're sitting at a desk all day. Yeah. And I thought at one time it was what I wanted. But then being there, was, it was just, again, it was just very unfulfilling. And I mm -hmm. felt as though I was being placed into a box, a mm -hmm. literal box being mm -hmm. in an office. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, I can't reach people this way you know i can't um i don't feel like i'm making as much of a difference as i need to personally and so i left the spa industry completely left management completely came back to connecticut and opened my practice so i'm glad sometimes i'm glad you took that path yeah. you, it led you right to us <laughs> and sometimes it takes doing what you think you want to realize yeah. that it's not what you want exactly so exactly and everything unfolds, everything happens for a reason. We all know that that's, you know, a cliche um, statement you hear all the time, but it's so, so true. It's so true. And if we can just keep um, that in the forefront, that everything, no matter how minute or how large that comes to you on this journey is there for a reason, um, whether it be a blessing or a lesson. Oh and God, um, all the time. Yep. That resonates. Yep. Absolutely. And I think that it's, our um our responsibility um to turn any of the lessons into the blessings yeah. whether it be for the set myself ourselves or for others and i believe that's my whole why mm -hmm. <laughs> you know for this i was kept that's my my statement lately is for this i was kept and i think Lesson that yeah. this Lesson, we were kept. lessons and lessons are blessings it's all yep. the same yep. you know yeah absolutely your article is beautiful, um, and I love the the hiking boots. I don't know, if I can't really show it, but everybody go to um, your copy of Epic Tri Counties um, September October and check out Mallory's article. It is so um, real, I, real and doable, and it makes sense. Um, because like you said, a life, we need to be conscious of what we eat, yes, and, and what we say, but real life is ice cream and shit storms, okay, a lot of the times. Yeah. yeah. And, and how you um, explained it all in this article just comes together perfectly. 
But what struck me right now, again, here we go, my visual, is the hiking boot photo that they use to depict the article. There's like um, the hiking boots. And I'm currently reading the book Wild by Cheryl Strayed. Um, Have you ever read it? I've never heard of it, but I will definitely check it out. Do it, please. And the reason I'm saying this is, be, well, for whatever reason, all these elements are coming together while we're talking here. <laughs> And, um, I can I can feel Cheryl's energy in you. Oh, thank you. I can feel that same um, explore the explore the just go into areas unchartered and bring back what you can. So that's kind of mm -hmm. what what I'm feeling here. Um, as we begin to to wrap it up. I wanted to share a quote or a poem or whatever it is that spirit gave me. And I think that it, it really touches on everything that you said. And this quote is by Paulo Colho. I know I'm not saying that correctly. <laughs> Paulo Colho. And it says, there is only one thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve. And that is the fear of failure. That's so true. And there is no courage without fear <laughs> right absolutely and there is no wellness without unwellness and there is no you know real without unreal and i want to thank you please everybody as we begin to wrap up mallory's information is um on our website on the facebook page lisa sharing it also, if you have the paper copy of this beautiful publication, page two and three, you can read the entire article by Mallory. If you want the digital copy, that is available also with live links. So if you get a digital copy of this um, publication, Epic, the links are live. So you can click on Mallory's name. It's going to take you right to Mallory's website. So please check her out. It's definitely... Um, it's for your your higher good. <laughs> help her. Mallory will help you uncover your wellness, right? Yeah, that's what I just heard. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and I hope that you'll come back again. And as we begin to reemerge and start to uh, get back out there on the highway and byways, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, I show up at your doorstep. Um, or Lisa, or all of us, both of us. Of course. And yeah, absolutely. And please keep us posted. Also, keep Epic posted as to any events that you're doing, anything you have coming up, any changes, anything you want to share. We want to be your voice. Okay? And I'm open to the collaboration. You know that. <laughs> That's it. Today is National Swap Ideas Day. Oh, yes. And we have yes. done that. Check we it out. Yeah. So we've done that. Check <laughs> that. And to all the beautiful viewers and community, none of this would be possible without you all. This is a mission uh, for the people, by the people. We are here to empower you and to inspire you to keep walking in the direction, take the path that you're meant to, path, to take, define your why, whatever it is, we have the community, we have the practitioners that can help you. To do that so thank you all very very much i will be back on tuesday so i want everybody to have a great weekend be safe you know and all that you do just be conscious and be safe right stay true to who you are stay you because it is the you that you are meant to bring forward not anything in the box but you as always stay tuned to next tuesday for the next epic interviews and peace out, Epic Scouts. There they are. Bye. Take care.